In this video, let's have a look at the concept of forecasting in the context of time series. And to do so, we're going to contrast time series with cross-sectional data on a graph to see some similarities and some differences. So suppose we have a cross-sectional data over here, a relationship between wage of an individual based on his education level. The blue dots would be the real observations that we find in our sample. The green line would be the regression line used to estimate the data. Now, what do we have in a cross-sectional data? We're having here predictions based on the data we're having in the sample. So based on the same data in the same sample, we can predict values across the green line and we're going to compare this with the blue dots to see how much error we have, how much variation of the error term we're, we're having. So that variation of the error term, the variation of the residual, so to speak, of the residuals is going to be the sum of squared residuals. So we're going to take the differences between the real wages that we have uh, from the predicted wages take them to the power of two and sum them up. That would be the intuition in a cross-sectional data. Now, the difference between cross-section and time series when it comes to predictions are this, that in time series, we're using data from the past to predict the future. So over here, we're using past to predict the future, meaning that based on past data, we're going to find out the supposed relationship between sales at a certain point in time based on sales at the previous point in time on its lagged value. And we're going to estimate the constant in the time series model and the slope coefficient in the time series model, assuming the time series is stationary because that's remember, that's a requirement for time series. And uh, based on that, we're using this regression model in time series to predict in the future. So in this case, we were predicting values in the same data set, but over here, we're using the data that we have from the past to predict in the future. So, so the future values did not happen yet. Whereas in cross section, the values of those wages happened. They are real. We have access to them and we just compare them with the values that we would predict using our green line, using our regression line. Hope this makes sense. And that's the difference between them. This one we use to forecast in the future. So if we forecast in the future, we're also going to have errors. And only after we know the future values, only after the future has happened, we can see how accurate we were. So basically, when it comes to the variation of the error term in the time series context, it's going to look like that. The variation of the residuals, we're going to have residuals as well. And those residuals are the same logic as before, are going to be differences between predicted values and real values. So it's going to be the sum of squared differences is going to be the sum of squared differences of the values in the future. So s t plus one minus s t plus one that we predict. These are the value in the future relative to the predicted value. We take it to the power of two and we sum it up. That would be the variance. This is the difference between them. In the next video, we're going to go into more details how we can interpret the variance of the residuals in the context of a time series model.